Hello there and welcome to this video tutorial on lead pages where I'm going to give you a quick overview of how amazingly easy lead pages is to use and we're going to walk through a quick construction of a page where you can opt in and I can add that to my website really quickly and I'm going to show you how you do that and how you select that and how you adjust it and all of those easy things. So let's get started. I'm logged in here to lead pages and you can see here all of the templates sorted by conversion rate, that is the pages that get the most opt-ins, and you can go and choose the kind of page you really want to be using here. So let's choose opt-in pages because that's what I'm going to be doing. And here are the most highly converting ones, but I want to use a simpler one because we have a quick tutorial here. So I'm going to scroll down and grab one with a photo here and click use this template. And here they're just asking what industry we're in to help them with their internal statistics. You don't have to agree to give them that information. And then here we have the template. It's quite simple with just a background image, an opt-in form and a little bit of text. So you can see here on the left hand side we basically have the opt-in integration which I will open just quickly. Mine is Aweber and we can just choose which form I want to sign up to here. So let's say I want to use my basic Mad Lemming sign up form and the first name field as well and that'll add that in automatically because I have two fields in Aweber set up, the name and the email and because this is already integrated, I'll show that in another video, you can choose which of the fields that it asks the user for here and click OK. So my email's already integrated, very simple. You can also do SEO settings if you want this page to be found. I don't care about that. You can also do a tracking code if you want to track opt-ins using a specific pixel tracking or whatever system like from Facebook. You can adjust the styles here of the different colors, the main colors used for the text, the buttons and so forth. I'm not going to change all of those but you can. And you can use all of the default fonts that they're using here. I'm going to leave it as it is because it's obviously very effective. We're just going to change here some of the main things that they have on the page. And I'm going to put a picture in here that I've reworked. So this is a picture of a guy fixing a VW because I want to have people opt in about fixing up their website. So you just upload that image here. It has to be under 5 megabytes. I've already done that. And then you choose it and you click OK. It's already changed. And I now want to change the headline, the subheadline. So let's change the, change the headline here. Uh, download my free guide. That's it, done. And then you can click either on here on the left or here on the right, so it's a lot easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Uh, learn the five biggest website mistakes and how to fix them. Let's go back and capitalize the how, make that consistent. Click OK. Enter your email address below to get this free report. And then we can also change that button here. Get instant access. It's apparently one of the most, the best words you can use for opt-in. And we're basically done. So you can go through and as I said, if you want to change the colors, I can make them more specific to the Mad Lemmings theme, which is my theme. And these are the kind of colors that I'm using. So these are my styles and also the main text up here. So that's more in fitting with the Mad Lemmings theme. And then you click OK. And then you give the page a name. So Mad Lemmings trial opt-in for this video. That's okay. Let me click Save. And that's done. So we can basically publish that so it's ready to go. You can either take this and use this straight away for opt ins if you want to get ads directed from Facebook or Google or whatever. You can get it directed to this URL and people will land on this page. You can integrate it with WordPress, which I'll do in another video with the plugin. Or you can add it as a Facebook tab. Or you can just use it in your server by downloading the HTML directly. 
And if you have the WordPress plugin, which I do, it's very simple. You just create a new page, empty page in WordPress inside the lead pages plugin and point it to this page. It takes about two seconds. So that's how simple it is. Adjusting a page using a high performing opt in page takes you about two minutes and you're done. Thanks for listening. And if you want to head over to lead pages, there's a link in the description below. Just click on that and you can take a closer look at what's available.